Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft and I am back with a tutorial and we're going to do some decoupage today because I did say I've wanted to be to try it for a while. So I've made two little coasters from napkins and I'm really pleased with how they turned out. So it was just, let me get that one out of the way, it's just MDF coasters I bought on eBay. I will put the link for them. Only a few pounds for about 10. Um, and the napkins. Now I've had loads of people asking us where these birds are from. If you watched my haul video on Sunday, I did tell you, well I did show you some of the napkins but I didn't show you them, you know, properly. So we're going to use this one today. But these are all from the same seller. And you just buy them in like um, a set of four or something because you've got to think you've, you've got like four images on one napkin so and as I said to you the other day I don't really think you need like big packs of them because well unless you're planning on making tons of the same one but I just quickly show you some of the uh, designs the beautiful um, that one I got a few of each I think three or four of each gorgeous little Christmas mouse. I got a few Christmas ones because I've got some plans to make some gifts for Christmas as I said as I said on the other video and then the butterfly. Now these ones if you remember the sent as a freebie one free napkin and it was this one with four little birds. The first two um, coasters I did I ruined them and it was the cute little birds. I wish I had used something else, but I didn't think. So I'm just going to have to make the little robin because I wanted it to be like a set of four. And I've already got one on here which is ready to... Um, I think I've put one coat of varnish on. It's not finished yet. So I'm going to show you. Now, I've been watching quite a few people um, and the main person I think I got inspiration from and showed how to do this was a channel called called Dainty Gifts. I'll put her link below, but she does some amazing decoupage stuff. And this is where I learned this from. So, um, just a like a plastic page protector, any kind of plastic like that. And you've got your napkin. I've just cut a square off, and we just need the napkin. We don't need the ply stuff. And these are all three ply, so yeah, that's come off together. So both plies have come off there. So you've just got your napkin, and then you want to turn it face down so your design is face down. Now you are going to need just a brush, this is just a crafter's companion brush and just some water ordinary water now what you're going to do is you're going to tip this water on the napkin you need quite a bit and then i'm just gonna kind of roll it round so it runs i'm just trying to get the rest back in the cup so it's not all over and i'm going to zoom you in so you can see what i'm doing Okay, so now obviously it's really wet and the idea of this is to get the wrinkles out that's how I did these and they turned out really well so what you want to do is you want to take your brush and you want to really really light touch all you're doing is just scooping over and it should start to brush the air bubbles and the wrinkles out but you've got to do it really really lightly and if you think there's you know still more water in you can just try and tip some of it out but you've just got to do it really lightly and I mean be prepared the first oh I <laughs> wasn't that stupid I've just ripped them by sticking me brush on oh no see there you go but it's okay, we've got plenty more. I've got one here. That was so. 
again face down It's just a really light touch and you can see the bubbles start to come out. And I'm just going to try and move this, I don't know if it's going to work. Yeah, that's it. You can just slide it down if you think it's got wrinkles in. You see, they're virtually gone now. And then just really, really light touch. You just say going over to brush the wrinkles out. I think I've got one big one here which will get out and I think it's looking okay. Yeah, I think I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so then what you will do is I've got the coasters. Um, I give three coats of this white acrylic paint. You could use gesso, anything like that. And so I've got done three coats. I haven't done the back. I'll just zoom, zoom you out a little bit more. So you're going to take your painted coaster and we're going to take this and we're going to flip it over and then you're going to position this on top of your napkin where you want you know just decide where you want the pattern the picture so I'm just going to roughly go for there I think okay and then I've got the back end off that napkin and I'm just going to gently just press it, smooth it out onto the coaster like that. All right, and then just dry this brush off a little bit. We're going to lift this up and we're going to peel this bit of napkin off. Okay, and then what we're going to do is just start and roll roll this off and that's the napkin the coaster covered napkin and then I'm just going to get underneath okay and I'm just going to pick it off and then all you're going to do is just remove the excess napkin. And then you can sand it down and stuff later. So don't really worry about that now as long as you get, you know, like the big bits off. Look, that is perfect. There's no wrinkles in that at all. And that is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, I've got a 
another one of these backs of the napkins. And what you can do is just really gently just pat any excess water off. And that's perfect, absolutely perfect. So I'm just going to get this out of the way. Now you're ready to seal it. Now I'm just using Mod Podge. Oh, I don't see I've ruined it. I thought I'd caught it there. Oh, I did a tiny bit. Just press that out. Clumsy. Okay, so I've just got this bit of a little piece of cardboard that I've been using just to dry them off on. I'm just going to put in there. So this one has already had a quart of Modge Podge. It needs, I know I've been doing three quarts. So I've just got this, it's matte which doesn't have much of a sheen, obviously it's matte, but if you want it glossy, you can get the glossy one. Um, I think I've ordered a sparkly one because I thought that might be nice for the Christmas ones. So I've just got just a little brush here. And this is the one that we've, we've just done. And I'm just gonna dip, <coughs> dip it in the Modge Podge and we're just going to start brushing it on and as I said I think I've done three quarts before I would class them as ready and it dries completely clear so you don't have to worry about that and you can just go around the edges as well. So I would let that dry for say half an hour and then another coat and so on. So like I say this one has been done about 45 minutes ago so I would give this its second coat. And then I think what we'll do as well is when these are all dry and done, I think I'll come back in a couple of days and we'll make some kind of nice matching gift box to gift the coasters in. Now, these two here I've done is again just the same thing, but flowery napkins. Um, and I think these are ready to do what I'm going to do on the edges of the same as what I did with these two. So all I did was I took just a little sponge thing and I took some black stays on. Now I've just been using like a little old nail file thing just to sand down, sand them down and get any little bit rough bits off. And then I just take the stays on, just put some on the little dabber and all I've been doing is just, can you see, just going around, you can kind of, you won't obviously see it as much on this because it's dark, but it gets rid of, you know, any little bits at the side, but you could use paint. Um, you know, if you've got brown inks or maybe it's even gold, you could do anything you want really. But I would imagine it would have to be like solvent based, not like water based. Because then when you come to put your sealer or your Mod Podge on, it's going to run, isn't it? So you would put this on and then 
let it dry and then you could just put your sealer over it all again one last time you can like really work it in there I mean you don't have to do this but I, I think it looks quite nice and then I would give that um, a little bit to dry and then I would put one more on and then do the last coat of sealer For a little bit and give it a bit of a, a bit of a distressed look I suppose but I actually think that looks really nice I think like a nice brown would be good too but I don't have any in like a permanent ink I've only got Tim Holtz uh, distress and I know that would run when you put your mud John. Well, I think it would. I'm pretty sure it would actually. But as I said, you could use just black acrylic paint or something. That would work as well. These just make beautiful gifts. And this has been around for years and years and years. But, you know, I like to try different things. I get bored of just the same crafts all the time. I, I mean, that's why I bought all the boxes and things, because I really want to get into more, like, mixed media and, you know, stuff like that. I just want to keep trying different things. So, have I got ink on there? over this again I'm just going to move that because I think I am catching my little robin coasters there Yeah, the camera went off there so I've done a couple of layers of black ink and then I'm just going to give these their last coat and that's basically it And then obviously I'll do the same with the little robins when they're dry and that's basically it which is how I achieved these. So I'll put the links for the napkins and the coasters and the Mod Podge and whatnot um, and I'll be back with the gift box for them and then we'll start having a go at decorating some little wooden boxes with their maybe it's going to use some stencils and some polymer we call it some air dry clay stuff and all of that so thanks for watching take care and bye for now